Hi, I'm Ashok Sarathi, Vice President of the GMAT program at the Graduate Management Admission Council. Welcome to the first video in our series about the four new question types GMAT has developed for the new integrated reasoning section of the GMAT. In the first video, we will look at the question format we're calling multi-source reasoning. Multi-source reasoning questions will present data on tabbed pages and may include text, tables, or graphics. The information on the various pages may be related, but each page will offer something different. The test taker will need to process and filter this information to respond to a set of problems. These problems are designed to reflect the challenges business school students can expect to encounter in the classroom and on the job. A great deal of what we have done in developing the integrated reasoning section of the GMAT is based on comments and input we've received from members of our school advisory group and on what they told us they needed to meet the challenges of today's admissions environment. It's one thing to take book knowledge and say, okay, these are the sets of facts. And you could have a photographic memory and memorize all the facts. But if you don't know how to synthesize that and apply that in a real world setting, you're not going to be successful in school and you're not going to be successful in the business world. Multi-source reasoning questions will require test takers to decisively act on several pieces of information that may be ambiguous or incomplete. To handle this particular question, a test taker would need to evaluate imprecise statements to come up with definitive conclusions. The goal of this type of GMAT question is to discern whether a prospective business school student has the ability to tackle complex problems that do not have obvious solutions. There's so many situations that are not black and white and there, you know, situations where there isn't a clear cut answer. And so the ability to sort of look at information from a variety of sources and think about the pros and cons is so relevant to what, what's going to happen in their careers. Our video series about the integrated reasoning section of the GMAT will continue when we turn our attention to exploring another question type, graphics interpretation. If you have any questions or wish to learn more about the next generation GMAT exam, visit gmac.com slash nextgen or email us at nextgengmat at gmac.com.